Hello everyone, today's topic is going to be repositories. How can you add repositories to Azure DevOps platform? And in order to do that, you have to go to the repos section and then you will see that you can add HTTP. Oh, sorry, you have. Let me close all, all of this. And then you can clone to your computer. Let's see, you have a, already a repository, you want to clone it. Or you have already a repository from locally and when you want to submit it to, you want to push it to your Azure DevOps, or you can import for an external uh, repository. Let's say I'm going to show an example with GitHub, or you want to initialize with a readme file. So if you, we are going to show you the first one. So you can use HTTPS, and for that you need to generate uh, the credentials, and then you will see this notification that you have to copy uh, this password token. Um, this one won't be able to you won't be able to see it again, so you have to start it. I don't use this one at all. Um, the second choice that you can use is SSH cloning. Um, for this one, you need to generate a key pair uh, with the private and the public. Um, and the other option is you can clone it um, using any, you can use the configuration for any of these um, code editors. Uh, you can use PyCharm, RubyGen, Visual Studio, VS Code, any of this. Um, I'm going to show you the, uh, this example using the SSH and how do you manage um, the SSH key. So the first thing is I need to add the SSH key to my, uh, my public key here. Uh, there's two ways you can go that way using the project uh, configuration here um, from this link. Uh, you can go from this link here, or you can go through your profile. You see three docs here, and then you can do user settings, and then you can go to SSH public key management. So either way, you can configure your SSH key. So if we want to add a new key, we need to provide the value, the name, and the key value, but we don't have it. So I'm going to use SSH um, using Git Bash. I'm on Windows right now. so. Let's say I'm going to create a folder with the SSH key. Um, this folder contains all the keys, SSH keys, and I'm going to do SSH uh, key gen. Uh, it's going to be in my local, it's going to be the name, everything, what it is. And then I just need the, the content of my local key, my, my sorry, my public. So with the content of the public one, I can do paste it here and then name it my logo from laptop. And the, the, the name doesn't matter, just to recognize later which key is that one. So this one is active immediately. If we go back to the prior, let me close this one. And go to repos and say, okay, I'm gonna clone this prior using SSH key. Uh, let me copy that and I will do git clone. But before doing git clone, I need to change the permission of that uh, my local private key to be only readable with readable permission for my users. And also, you can create a SSH config file, but I will use um, something a short path is uh, doing this about SSH agent and then do something like add my local, what I'm adding here is my private local. And then I will create a directory for my repositories, Azure repos, cd Azure repos, and then I will do the key clone. And let's see if I can clone using that specific key. And there you go, it's there. Uh, it's an empty, the warning that you're seeing here is because it's an empty file. Uh, if I go inside that, file that um, repo and then I do echo hello and then read me okay read me in the file do you get a status I will see there is a change commit using read me and then we do git push and then you, you will see um, those changes um that file already in the repository so that one was the first repo. What happens if you want to add a new repo? So you don't have to go here. Uh, you can do it from here already. Actually, is a new repository will be available right now. So let's create a new one. Let's get name it 
second repo I don't want I don't want to add any readme or git ignore and then you will see the same view so what I want to do is let's say okay I have already code here in my local that uh, let's say open a folder let's say something in the desktop maybe I should repo yeah let's say I have this second project here but I want to push it it's, it's not already there so we're going to create my second repo and then I have a new file uh, config and I want to submit that one something like that right That's it. I just want to push this repository to my Azure DevOps repositories, and then I can do git. Um, I have to go to that folder. Uh, the name was my second git status, right? Uh, actually, let's see. Um, they say okay if you want to go for this auction and then using SSH is the one that we are using. We just need to add this one, but also they forget. They forgot to do the git init. I need to initialize that project as I get in it. Then paste it. Okay. Get a status. I add a new file. Get add. Get commit. New file. And then you can do git push. Git push. Let's say git push. That's you origin. Master is the same that they come on uh, above. So if we refresh, then we'll see. There you go, the file is there. So let's say you're gonna try the last one, the new repository. And let's say the last repo. And then you say, uh, okay, I created this one and then I clone it make a couple of changes and it's available then I use this example uh, the goal uh, the goal was already in my local but I just push it to the repository and then I'm gonna create this one uh, for external uh, repository let's try something on my uh, keep let's try okay something from github my local repositories Okay, let's try this one, repositories, this one, for example. Clone it, paste it, if you require extra permission, I didn't copy. I didn't copy. Right, if you require username and token, you can provide this one in this example, is is public repository. Um, it would take just a few minutes, as you can see, uh, you will see. Uh, depends on how big is your, how many files do you have in your repository. But there you go. There you can click here, and then that's the call already there. So and the last one, uh, you can try something really simple like uh, the crazy, uh, the 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 last the last one to and then we do create and then you can see okay I want to name it but I don't want to do anything at all I just want to add a readme file and then getting not is going to be for let's say uh, Java code and then I just initialize that project and that's it and then you will see the get it or is ending so it doesn't bring anything up uh, there you go it's taking it be with all the possible um, ignore files that have to be. That's everything um, for the how you can add um, in different ways using SSH HTTP. Uh, you can import for external repository uh, and you can also do other like bitbuckets. You can also import bitbuckets. Um, that's uh, everything. You have any question, please. Uh, put the comments in the video. Uh, I will try to answer any question, any concerns. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.